Hello everyone. In my last video, we outlined job description of armed forces and listed some of the key personality traits required to perform the duties of an armed forces officer. Personality traits reflect a person's characteristic patterns of thought, feelings, and behavior. That is, they define the personal reality of a person. You are most likely to succeed in life if you use your talents to their fullest extent. Similarly, you will encounter fewer problems if you know what your weaknesses are and you manage these weaknesses so that they don't impede your performance. So, for that, the first thing required is a proper self-analysis. And in my opinion, the best tool for self-analysis is the SWOT analysis. SWOT is an acronym for Strength, Weaknesses, Opportunities and Threats. What makes SWOT a powerful tool for self-analysis is that with a little thought, it can help you firstly understand personal strength and uncover opportunities that you would not otherwise have spotted. And secondly, understanding your weaknesses, helping you manage and eliminate threats that might otherwise come in your way. Personal SWOT analysis entails five step process एक एक करके अभी आपसे शेयर करूंगी तो सबसे पहला स्टेप है टू आइडेंटिफाई क्लियरली द गोल्स दैट यू वांट टू अचीव इट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप टू बी वेरी गोल स्पेसिफिक यू शुड हैव अ वर्क प्लान व्हिच मस्ट बी क्लियर प्रैक्टिकल and time based to achieve these specific goals and also as such that you are able to monitor the changes that are taking place in your personality step number 2 to identify the personal strengths that will help you to achieve your goals and the weaknesses that may come in the way these areas are generally internal that is ye aapki personality ke sath related hai and therefore these are under your control it is helpful to consider at this time your knowledge your skills your experiences resources and support that you have with you step number 3 identify any personal opportunities that could enable you to achieve the goal opportunities are generally external relating to the environment and those around you rather than you yourself step number 4 identify any threats these are also external things and events that are worrying you or that might happen and prevent you from either achieving your goals or taking advantage of the benefits let's take uh, the example of the present situation the lockdown now it may work as an opportunity to introspect and work on self improvement or conversely it may appear as a threat by causing undue stress and worry thereby impeding your progress finally step number 5 review and prioritize it is important to review your analysis highlight one or two things from each of strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats that you think will be most important in achieving 
or preventing you from achieving your goal. These areas will then be your priorities for action. Outline a time-bound and a workable action plan and start working on it. And as you go, you would be able to improve upon your personality. Uh, to conclude, it is very aptly said that SWOT can help people with their personal development to become the best version of themselves as it provides insight based on their personality strengths and weaknesses, challenges one sees ahead and opportunities that are present around them now and in the future. Uh, you see with all this it is, it is bound to help you to develop your personality in the right direction to achieve your set goals. Thank you.